Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your reading for May 4th. So this would be for the new moon, the Taurus new moon. So we're just going to get a bunch of different cards, and we're going to just see what comes up. We're going to start right here. What do we got? What do we have for the 4th? Oh, power, strength, hmm. man versus beast. So uh, the time is now to take back your power, to find your strength and your confidence and your courage to face your fears. So it's a very powerful time. It's a time of courage. It's, it's needing to have courage. Courage to let go. If you think about the strength card, the strength card is about facing your fears, finding the ability to let go of something. You know, somebody is uh, dealing with some inner demons. This is the devil card. They're, feel, they're dealing with some unhealthy situations that they need to take back control over. And that is going to take some strength. Somebody needs to find the strength to take back control of their life. To break free from an unhealthy situation that isn't providing or isn't going to provide any long-term gratification. Right now, this this is the devil. The devil's in control. But you have the ability to take back your power at any time. So that's what this full, this new moon is about. It's about taking back your power, finding your strength and your courage to face your fears, to face your demons. Go ahead. The eights are go ahead. Go ahead. Go for it. Oh goodness gracious. The Empress. We have a we have a really uh compassionate, loving individual here who is very nurturing, kind, and oh abundant. But this is the birth of a new life. Somebody is being given an opportunity for reward. It's harvest time. It's time. It's time for your reward. It's time for your new beginning. It's time to start over. But, you know, the pain that you went through wasn't in vain because now you're going to, there's a reward at the end of it. So we have this empress here who gives birth to a new life. She heals. She nurtures. She mothers. She can grow anything. We have a we have a golden opportunity here. This is huge. It's huge. This is a huge opportunity. Somebody has manifested something so abundant. All you have to do is accept it. All you have to do is take it, or you have to. Just put it in your hands. Just take it. So we have a we are being given the opportunity to start a new life at this time. Somebody has manifested a new beginning, and it's like it's so big, it's so beautiful, it's so bright. But it's going to take strength to take it. Because see all the strength that this person has? We're 
we're gonna get one of these. We have a new solid opportunity to receive abundance at this time. Seriously. It's harvest time. It's picking time. Go for it. Cycles. Cycles. And that is what this is about. So somebody has completed a cycle and there's an opportunity to begin a new one. But you have to find the strength to move forward and let that old cycle end. We do have a new beginning here. It's a big one. It's a golden opportunity. It's huge. It is huge. It is. It's a huge opportunity. We'll read this card at the end. Somebody is thinking about that love, thinking about taking an opportunity. They're thinking about it. There's some discontent. Unsure if they want it or not. It's like they see the love. They see the love here. They do. But there's still a loss that is on their mind. Wow. You know, and they have to release they have to release something that they have held on to for so long. That is this card. I mean, somebody needs to release something that they have held on to. It's no longer... I mean, you can't fight gravity. You can't fight what is. It's slipping away. Why hold on to it? So we do have somebody here that is thinking about their foundation. Fours are about foundations. Four, four. They're thinking about... Um, what is going to bring them comfort? What is going to make them comfortable? <sighs> this is putting in effort, working really hard. Somebody is working really, really hard. But they may not be grounded. They may not be wise. They may not be practical. Somebody may not be being practical or accepting responsibility for their actions. We have somebody here that may be stubbornly holding on to what they know, what they had. But they see an opportunity for emotional fulfillment. They're just not taking it. And I think this person has been focused on everything but love. Maybe burying their emotions, burying their feelings to get through this pain because to get to the to get to the empress you have to experience pain and somebody does need to find strength and courage to deal with their pain to let go this is let go and open up somebody is is really trying really really hard they could be somebody could be burying themselves in their work and their job because they're trying to hide their pain i think i just said that um But this is deciding that it is time to be happy. Somebody may come to the conclusion, you know, that it is time to be happy. This is let go of the emptiness. Let go of the ego and the pride. It's time to be happy. That is what this is. There's nothing more to prove. This is an opportunity. This is a reward. This is a miracle. This is a blessing. It's an opportunity for happiness. So somebody has an opportunity for happiness if they can find the strength and the courage to face their fears. This is coming out of the darkness. So somebody may be starting to see the light. They may. Maybe somebody has allowed themselves to be victim of their own circumstance for long enough, afraid to take a risk. But this is coming out of the darkness and accepting. This is like accepting. 
Wow, expect the unexpected. Okay, the last three cards were fives. Five, five, five. Five, five, five is expect the unexpected. There's been a lot of power struggles. There's some divinely guided uh, major life changes going on right now as we speak. It's like the universe is saying it's time to let go of the old and bring in the new. That is what it's saying. It's time to let go of the old foundation that has, it's no longer stable, it's no longer secure. It's time to let that go and, and build, a, build another one. There's an opportunity for happiness here. 555 five, five is, is conflicts. There's been a lot of conflicts. There's been a lot of power struggles. There's been a lot of, um, there's been some major changes that have been happening. They may be happening even a little bit too fast. There's some tension. There's some turmoil over the um, risks, you know, the risk of this change. So I think that we have some um, fears that need to be faced over taking a risk. Somebody is fearful over taking a risk because they're holding on to what they always knew. Um, this is tension. Um, there's a major life change with 555. Five, five. There's a major life choice regarding a major life change. So right now, somebody is really struggling with the instability of this changes, the changes that they are being presented with. It's a time of personal freedom when you see 555. Five, five. When you see 555 five, five on a clock or on a receipt or anywhere, you know, in a number sequence, sequence, you can expect a major change in which you are going to have to make a choice. When you see 555, five, five, a change is coming. And it may not be a comfortable change. It, a change. It may not be comfortable. Um, it's a divinely guided major life change. Expect the unexpected. Okay. Ooh. This is love. This is love. The Ace of Cups. This is a new opportunity for love. Somebody has been cheating themselves of love in it. They have. This is cheating. Deceiving themselves. This could be self-deceit. They keep thinking about going back to what they left when there's an opportunity for love on the other side. Something has gone south. Something has gone south. It's like the fire is being put out. There's no more growth. There's a lack of passion. There's a lack of... Somebody may, may not be... <clears throat> this is no vision. Not seeing a situation. It's like the vision has been clouded. There's no vision here. There's no growth. They've lost excitement. There's no excitement. Uh, this is like something is dying. The The... Something is going south because it's not being fueled. Hmm. Somebody has been weighed down. They have been weighed down by their <laughs> negative thoughts, by their old heart, pride and ego. This is a card of pride and ego. Somebody has been weighed down by their pride and ego, but this is deciding, I'm not going to let that hinder me. I want to be happy. I don't have nothing left to prove. So somebody has been letting their pride and ego get in the way of their reward. They have. Now, one, one, one. One, 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 instant manifestation. Somebody has manifested a new opportunity. Somebody's intuition has really been talking to them. Something is happening really, really fast when you see one, one, one. So we have one, 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 and we have five, five, five. Expect the unexpected, something that you have been wishing for, something that you have been thinking about nonstop is right in front of you. It's going to be right in front of you. You manifested it. You asked for it. 
even if you asked for it subconsciously, even if you didn't ask for it out loud, you thought about it. Somebody has been thinking about love because this is the Ace of Cups. They've been burying themselves in everything but love to cover up their truth, cover, cover up their, their true feelings, whatever. And now it's like the universe, okay, 111, has, has heard your thoughts. And unexpectedly, they have given you an opportunity. And it's 555. Five, five. It's, it's an opportunity to let go of the old and bring in the new. So we have a person here that... is receiving an opportunity that they can really save. This is something big. It's something huge. It's, a, it's an opportunity of a lifetime. This is manifestation as well. Somebody has manifested a new beginning. This is a reward. She gives birth. It's a miracle. Okay, when you give birth, it's a miracle. This is a miracle. It's a blessing. Somebody is being given a blessing, blessing for enduring the pain. The pain comes before the blessing. So somebody is receiving a blessing for the pain that they have endured. But, of course, there's a but. You have to release. You have to release first. You have to release what you've been holding on to. You gotta put in effort to not cheat yourself of love. So of emotional fulfillment, whatever that is to you. Somebody has been cheating themselves of emotional fulfillment because for one, they've been stubborn. They may have been stuck in their ways, not practical. Um just not focused. Somebody wasn't focused, you know. And I think that we have something that is going south because of ego and pride. And I think that somebody is realizing, because the five, this one is reversed. This one is saying, you know what, somebody is realizing that I just want to be happy now. I'm ready to be happy now. I see this opportunity because that's what this is. Somebody has been overanalyzing a love situation, really analyzing their, their past, present, and future. Okay, they've, they've, they've been really analyzing and worried about taking a risk. Allowing, you know, allowing their victim of circumstance to get in the way. Victim mentality. There's a lot of power struggles. 555 five, five is power struggles. Somebody's really been struggling with letting go and accepting. Letting go and accepting love. So I feel like we have somebody that is probably coming out of the darkness. The five of coins reverse is coming out of darkness, realizing Realizing that this is, it's, it's the end. It's, there's no need to hang on to these insecurities. There could have been some, some pettiness. There could have been some petty arguments that um, opened up their eyes, put it that way. Somebody has been not making progress because they didn't, they didn't, they couldn't find the courage. They couldn't find the courage and the confidence to take the lead in their own life. But, but here we have some curiosity. We have somebody that is, is curious. They're curious about this love. They're curious about the truth. They're curious about this new idea, this new thought that has been in their mind. 
and we have we have somebody here that is probably sick of the deception they're, they, 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 they another one they're probably they're probably sick of being deceived it's like i know the truth but they're lying to themselves somebody it's like they know the truth but they but they but they've been lying to themselves manipulating themselves i think this is self manipulation i do Somebody has been in a really tricky situation and they've been allowing themselves perhaps to be manipulated by others because when I see the five of wands, I, 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 there's a bunch of different hands here. There's different people. Somebody may have stayed in a situation that wasn't fulfilling because of the others, because of the other people's opinions, you know, what they're going to say, what they, what they, whatever, other people because of other people this is manipulation so I feel like we somebody has been manipulated by others definitely by others somebody has been manipulated page of cups reverse there's a need to go after your dreams there's a need to be more playful there's a need to follow your heart and somebody hasn't been following their heart they haven't been lack of emotion somebody has been been hiding their true feelings because of pride and ego. Here we have a angry person. <laughs> this person is, is resentful. She's angry. She's upset. Hasty not seeing situations clearly because she's been hurt so we have a person here that may have caused some tension because of her own pain and i mean that's what she is been reverse she's been she's she's feeling pain so she's she's she speaks she speaks um aggressively without thinking so this queen of swords in reverse is a person who you know, can get very aggressive when she has been hurt. And she probably has caused some tension because of her own insecurities. And she's caused another person to really think about this opportunity. So, hmm. There's no progress being made. Somebody is needing to reevaluate their future. There could be a message coming in that... Somebody wasn't telling the truth. Somebody was lying. This is a lie. And this is a lie. So somebody may have been lying about their feelings. A page of cups reversed. That's feelings. And right next to the ace of cups. They may have. Somebody may not have been telling the truth about their feelings because of fear. Lack of confidence. Which has made another person bitter and resentful. <laughs> this person may be giving up. She she may be giving up. She may be deciding, you know, this is this is too much for me. This isn't compatible. This isn't so yeah, we, I think we have somebody that is giving up on a contract, a soulmate situation, because there's probably no progress being made. We got this person that's thinking. All he's doing is thinking. He's not making an offer. And she's getting more upset with it every passing minute. So she may be cutting. If you see where the sword is. The sword is pushing down at this lover's reverse. It's like she may be thinking about. You know. Getting rid of this contract altogether. 
this isn't there's there's been some sort of argument or there's been some sort of conflict in the partnership and or tension tension and conflict for these fives in the partnership so somebody is thinking about well it looks like she's making a cut that sword is the one that cuts strength again so this is finding the courage and the confidence and the willpower and the strength to this is gracefully do the right thing even though it's not going to be easy because there's been an injustice here there has been an injustice when the justice card comes up reverse somebody has not been treated fairly there's been unfair treatment here somebody uh, hasn't acted with integrity and it's caused another person to get upset really upset so <laughs> There's been no progress. Somebody hasn't been, uh, there's been a lack of balance. There's been a lack of harmony. There's been a lack of reciprocation, equal reciprocation in a partnership, which has caused another person to become bitter and resentful because they're looking for reciprocation. They're looking for, you know, to be treated fairly. So it looks to me like we have somebody that may be giving up, could be her. Somebody is giving up on something that, Is it going nowhere? It's not going anywhere. It's not going anywhere because somebody isn't finding the strength and the courage to take action. They aren't. This is somebody who's not taking action as well. We have somebody here that is not taking action and they're losing a partnership because of it. There's an opportunity to take back the power, to take back to find the courage and the confidence and the strength to right a wrong. Some, it's a very emotional time. It's a very intense time. Somebody is, is probably dealing with an individual that is emotionally unavailable. That's somebody that may have hurt them and It's time to move forward. It's time to move forward. It's time to stop lying to yourself. Stop deceiving yourself. I think we have a very, somebody that has been allowing victim mentality. This is victim mentality. This is victim mentality. Just hold them back. Somebody has been letting their, their victim of circumstance, you know, their circumstance, hold them back from what they truly deserve. I think that we have somebody here that it's, it's time to choose, it's time to pick. There's no more growth. Somebody's been holding on to an unrealistic, dissatisfying situation where there's no more growth. And it's time to follow your heart. It's time to be happy again. So I feel like this next day, somebody is going to be facing the the truth. or they're, they're, They are the truth. Because remember, I saw that. Somebody is going to be facing the truth. It's like the truth is going to hit them. They're going to get some sort of wake-up call that, you know, this is an opportunity. It's huge. It's big. It's 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 the reward for the pain that they have endured. But you 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 got to follow your heart. You gotta you gotta stop investing in an unrealistic, dissatisfying situation that you've been lying to yourself about. It's time to move forward. Okay, it is. It's time to master your emotions and somebody really has not been mastering their emotions at all they've been letting fear get in the way in a huge way huge fear has been hindering them from success if this person has i mean the magician has to take action to bring success and we have somebody here that has not been taking action to bring success therefore they have been wasting their time on a unjust situation that 
probably has already failed. And I think that we have somebody... I had to start that one over. Okay, so life is a cycle. Sometimes things flow and at other times they slow down. What cycle of your life are you in right now? What is the one area of your life where you need to focus most of your energy? Is it time for you to focus on your family? Do you need alone time to discover your true purpose? Do you yearn to open your heart and love fully, deeply, and passionately? What do you yearn for? What do you want? Maybe you are completely ready to enthusiastically concentrate on your life purpose and put all your energy and effort into making your dreams a reality. Like I said, it is time for you to follow your heart and follow your dreams. You deserve to be loved. You deserve wish fulfillment. You deserve this reward. Don't let fear stop you. Each cycle you encounter offers you fresh gifts and possibilities to learn and grow. The better you become at identifying the cycle you are in, the more flow and harmony you will experience in the choices you make. So I feel like we have somebody here that has manifested a new opportunity. It's like the opportunity is right here. It's right here. Can you take it? Do you want it? Or do you want to hold on to this pain? The choice is yours. 555. Five, five. Major life choices. Major life changes. Let go of the old and bring in the new. Right now. This is an opportunity for abundance. The Empress nurtures and grows and she gives birth to a miracle. I mean, it's a miracle. It's a blessing. The choice is yours. So I feel like this is the day of, you know, there could be some communication coming in. This is communication. Maybe there's communication that, you know, somebody was being unrealistic. This is unrealistic. I don't know. They could be communicating that this is love. I don't know. You know, everybody's circumstance is different. Whatever this is, one cycle of your life has come to an end. And it's time to begin again. It's time for you to receive Good luck. 